Friday. It's going to be a little different today. We're starting with something a little different because I tidied. <laughs> so I'm going to give you not a full studio tour, but a little miniature look. And you can ask questions. And I appreciate your patience while I got to the camera also up so that I could do this. And I appreciate your patience when I then switch it back from the handheld camera to um, the desk camera because that's the same camera. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a little interesting bit here because if I switch to desk camera right now, it's going to give you a different view than you've ever seen before. Are you ready? Can you handle it? Ooh. Hi. <laughs> so, here's my desk. See monkeys? Light. <laughs> Outdoors. It's rainy. Um, yeah, so this is all the little um, uh, kind of control center over here. And right, so let's have a look around and, um, and we'll see what's here. So my space is, by American scrapbooking standards, small. And by British have a room dedicated to a hobby standards, big. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm cabled for this, so we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully, on the gimbal, it will not make you too seasick. So, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm saying it's very, oh, oh, very honest at the moment. Um, and then I'll do a full tour. Oh, it's going to be a little overexposed there. And um, I'll do a full tour once it's like 100% presentable. So, I think this is as far back as I can go, um, which is fine because this is the whole space. So, this little space down here. Do, 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 is WB's space. Um, so his desk is clear for him to do his homework and he has a um, script up here that he was working on this week and he has a little craft cart here <laughs> that's, you know, also a little exploded. It's, um, there's method in the madness there, but it needs to tidy too. Okay. And then where you see me is here. So recognize that little square. So up at the top, there's a few albums that tend to be the ones that I'm currently working on, a basket of ear making supplies and Lego Main Street Station. Then we have these cupboards. <laughs> and oh, and I'm going to run into the furniture. Great, great. So let's come over here in the better light. This one is my um, this is Cupboard of Magic, so, dun, 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 dun. this is the shot you all want, right? This is the paper, <laughs> right down there to the bottom. Um, yeah, and then Booper Heads live over here. I have taken the second frame off because I need to update to put on some that some colors that have come out afterward <laughs> so that's just temporarily missing so that's where it hangs and that's how i hang them on command strips um but there's the first set and the only ones that are off there are the ones that are in this month's kit so they're on the desk or i've used them super recently um and over here just some cuteness um and then at the top of this cupboard Oh, hi. I also knit and my yarn <laughs> lives there. <laughs> it needs, uh, mm -hmm. it needs something, <laughs> but it's there above the paper. Yeah. Um, so, oh, page protectors are very important. They live there and I sometimes forget that they're in a very sensible spot right there, but they're there. So that's covered in magic. And then here, cameo fits in here and we, made this cubby hole so that it would fit the cameo. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to upgrade to a wider machine or anything <laughs> because then it wouldn't fit in my furniture. Um, so we have drawers. I'm going to take you away for one second because I think I might have like, do I have anything in here that's like grown up adulting? No. Okay. Sometimes I have like paperwork that needs dealing with and I wanted to make sure I didn't have account numbers or anything like that. So this drawer hmm, was overflow ink pads, things that didn't fit in the drawer that I'll show you in a minute. 
and then overflow of stamps. So like this is too big, doesn't fit in my stamp drawer. But they're all kind of just not organized here. And then this for a long time has held all my dies. But in the last couple months, I've kind of increased my die collection and it's now out of the basket. So I need to do something about that. Um, there we go. <laughs> if I got cables in the drawer. Yes, hold on, sorry. Don't close your silhouette cables in the drawer. This is hard holding the camera in one hand. I hope it's going smooth enough that I'm not making you too, too bonkers. So this is the stamp drawer. That's one that I put in there because it needs its packaging to go away. <laughs> so I have three kinds. My organization will make sense to like no one else, but it's what works for me and that's what's important with organization. Stamps that I've made are in this section. <laughs> stamps that somebody else made but are that kind of four by six um, stamp set size are in this section. <laughs> stamps that are random sizes go over here <laughs> and they just, they're chaos. <laughs> but they're contained chaos. <laughs> so that's what that is. Then next drawer we have three by four pocket page kind of stuff. So three by four is here and these are kind of like off shape, like they're weird sizes, but they fit nicely there. Um, and then most of these are four by six, but some you can see there's three by fours there together because I wanted them in a collection. So like that, this is all my Ellie Studio pocket stuff. This is scrapbook.com pocket stuff. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to separate straight quarter, straight edges from round edges. So back here, rounded project life corners up here square project life corners yeah um hello enamel dot basket and die cut basket i know this is gonna drive some people mad but this is how die cuts work for me and i used to have them in a bowl um but that didn't fit nicely in this particular storage so i have them in more of a basket that just can come out if i want to dig and um, but i really enjoy digging more than having everything separate so it also takes up less space that way. Yeah. And then this bottom drawer. Sewing stuff over here. My, I have like a vintage -y sewing basket underneath there. Can you see it at all? Here. Um, and this, this, this. Oh my goodness. It won't fit anywhere. So right now it's living here, but it needs a home and I can't figure out where. So that's wood veneer. Um, thickers, I used to have a lot more thickers but I've kind of calmed my collection down. And this is overflow of stuff from my collections that, that I'm not ready to get rid of. Okay, so that's the drawers behind me as I'm talking to you. And then we have covers over here. So, this side looks more orderly, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one side at a time. Um, photo printer, keeping it in a cupboard now so it doesn't get dusty and break like the other one. Yay! Um, a mug filled with Disney pins, of course, um, because this was kind of full and there's a few of them. <laughs> They're by theme. <laughs> um, but so this here is, um, that's all things from my AC collections. So, it is all sort of orderly to me because it's by collection and size to make it all fit nicely. Does that make sense? If we go up, miss, I haven't kept a lot of mist. So you have like a whole wall shelf full. This is basically all the mist now. That's what I kept. Thank you, Allison, for keeping me supplied in <laughs> kiwi marshmallows. And then that basket there is card making stuff in various different forms. This one is the same sort of Ikea box that my own collection stuff is in, except it's anything that's Disney. Um, yeah. 12 by 12 chipboard over here. Top shelf has 12 by 12 paper pads. And this is the smartest thing I can tell you. Write the names on the sticky side. 
and then you can see what they are because, oh my goodness, you can't tell what they are and then you're just constantly flipping through them. Now I can tell what they are and this is good. This is like old papers, photos, memorabilia that I want to keep but I'm not quite sure how to organize and or scrap. Um, and this is a very important refillable sweet pot from a sweet shop in Covent Garden. <laughs> so sometimes I take it out. Now, here's this bit. <clears throat> this is my best of both worlds corner. It's organized and it's not. So this is anything that's been left over from a kit. So like this is spare papers. But I also have a couple kits where I still feel like I need to make more before I dis like dismantle it. So they're here. And then the last couple months, here's where it gets a bit chaotic. <laughs> So February and January are just kind of sitting on top here. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's what I did. And my favorite color pencils in this mug. And then over here, inside this door is all Alice-y things. My friend Kirsty stitched this for me a long time ago and I love it. And some different art from the Wonderground. Okay. So that's that cupboard. And down here, another cupboard. More Ikea boxes, and they don't make them anymore. Okay, let's see if I can do this without, oh, there we go. I was like, without um, dropping the camera and making it make you seasick. So this shelf holds, it's a really shallow shelf. It holds candles that smell like Disney parks. And, um, that's a Christmas ornament that didn't get put away with Christmas ornaments. Great. But also, this box here is um, ink and paper for the photo printer. Yeah. So this one is all different embellishments and stuff from random different collections. That's like, if I say I need to stash dive for something, that's embellishment stash diving. Um, plus, I have this that I'll never give up from um, when we first launched my first collection at a trade show. They had me stamp a gazillion things with this and so I kept it. Um, and then this one is letters. Oops, sorry, you're out of the shot. There we go. Letters in this one. It's Christmas embellishments in that one. More letters down here. So this is small letters and the one above is big letters basically. But this also has 12 by 12 letter sheets at the back. Punches that I need to go through and figure out which ones should go in this little basket and which ones should go down there. Um, chalk markers. Oh, and two more miss. It didn't, didn't fit up, up above. <laughs> okay. Um, these cupboard doors are not complete yet. There's some pins there. There's this print that I really like. That's Jerry Mariyama. This is also Jared and Mariyama over here. Right, so that's all the cupboards. Oh, there's a top cupboard, <laughs> but it's kind of mayhem. So this is the one that needs just organizing and sorting out, but it's there. <laughs> this side is like journals and mini albums and things like that. There we go. Okay, and let's turn you around. I'm gonna take you through the floor to turn you around. So that's the cupboards that are behind me. Um, and this is my desk where I sit. I don't even sit, why would I say sit? This is where I stand. <laughs> um, so right, I, I have unearthed, what's this? What's this? It's a paper trimmer. It's my own paper trimmer, not WB's paper trimmer. My actual paper trimmer right there. And so this has two drawers and two cupboards. Can you spot the one where I just put everything on that topic inside and now the door is not closed? So this is the next project. Anything that was sewing related went in here. And it's a nightmare, but I just decided if I can put it all in there for right now, then it can be a separate day of taking it out and organizing it. So don't judge, <laughs> it's an improvement. Now this other one looks bonkers, but it makes perfect sense to me. So this is where scrap paper goes. And there, it's, this is bent over, so it's hard for you to see. But this is a um, doodlebug tote that sits in there and has um, 
and it holds anything that's not a full sheet. WB also knows anything in there is completely okay to use at any time. You don't have to ask permission. You have to ask permission for full sheets in case it's something um, that, uh, that I needed for a project. <laughs> um, and buttons and ribbons down here at the bottom and also sea monkey food and sea monkey water. Um, yeah. The desk is not up against a wall. Good question. It is freestanding. So do you see that wooden piece over there? That is the banister. Well, this is the top rail. That, so that's the landing and behind there is the staircase that takes you downstairs. So that wall that you're seeing behind there is the other side of the stairs. I hope that makes sense. Um, and the desk is on wheels and originally we thought that would be great because we'd move it around. We haven't moved it around and I'm, I don't know that we will, but we have the potential to one day and I like how it looks. Okay, ready? Second place of magic. So this is the ink drawer where all the oxides live and you can see I need to do labels for the new color, which I started with the frames. I thought I'll do all of that in one job. I'll update my frames and I'll update my Mickey labels. A little overspill of different kinds of inks over here. And stickles and pops of color and things like that there. And then the old, old. So to me, I don't buy this kind of distress ink anymore because I don't really use it anywhere near as much as I use these. But I haven't let them go and I've just kind of, they live over here on this other side. I need to think about the whole strategy with them, but for right now they're fine. And then here's the other thing that's happened. So when we started Best of Both Worlds, the stencil section was like this tall, and now it's like this tall. And um, so this is where stencils live, but as I was tidying things up, I just put anything that was a package or a stencil into this stack, and now you can see it's a little too full. So I need to sort that out. And here is a funny thing. So I have got some cloths and cleaners in there. I quite often wear a bracelet, but I get a lot of complaints if I wear a bracelet while I'm <laughs> scrapbooking. <laughs> so I've accidentally ended up with my bracelet collection here in my drawer because I'll be getting ready to start a video and then I'll realize I have a bracelet on and I'll just take it off. So now they, this collection of bracelets <laughs> just live here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it was organic. It happened naturally. <laughs> oh. I need two hands here. Okay, and then last drawer. Christina says, do things fall off your desk at the far side? Every once in a while, but usually not. So this one has pens and pencils, sound equipment. So this is microphones, cables, stuff like that. Emergency stuff. Um, this is to clean my glasses or my camera lens right before we start. <laughs> um, uh, Scissors, extra scissors live in here, papios, post-it notes, photos that I've printed to use. Um, and sometimes this is a snack drawer. It's not today. Um, also microphone stuff over here and a watch that needs a new battery. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. So there we go. Um, then I'll do I'll take you so that you can see the camera setup. Now I have the laptop sits on this trolley. You just got a little view of, of this needs work. What is going on here? But that, that can be, that, that like the sewing cupboard, this just needs to be one day of sorting it all out. So inside here, adhesive refills and all of the past sketches I could find washi tape down in the bottom section here and this has become a catch-all for all the different bits that just you find in a studio so that needs sorting Blech. um and then there's a chair back here that holds the light and this is where i see you so you're all here this is where i can see the statistics and stuff and i can flip over here to see oh that's going to go inception whoa, 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 whoa. but yeah um so that's that's my the two ways I can see what we're doing. There's one tripod there with the face cam. 
that's and so to change look 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 so there's face cam oh there's somebody on the street out there right if i come over here and go from camera one to camera two there it is but now um we'll go back to the other one <laughs> oh and also this is the blinking and stuff it's not really it's not really blinking like that it's just because it's on a different frequency okay sea monkeys boopers candle coffee and some punches that i haven't put away this kit and the pages i've made so far then there is another tripod <laughs> da, 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 da. so this is where this camera sits over the desk and yes it has a backpack that's the counterweight so that this doesn't fall over and it's i've just instead of hanging a weight i've hang, I've, I've put a backpack there um and a light there that I won't blind you with. So I've got lights both sides. There's the trimmer. That's everything, I think. Okay, anything you want to see before, um, before I do that, before I change over. <laughs> okay. is <laughs> me spotting the architecture so yeah our building is modern but there are other um other eras around us including georgian yes how do you store your punches says lilotini so they were down here do, 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 do. and this one here down at the bottom this is this is not great but this is what it is so I realized um, in my old studio, I had them in drawers, like little drawers in an Expedit so that I could pull them out and they weren't on top of each other like this. I could always see what I was getting to. Um, and I prefer that way, 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 way more than this. Um, so I had them all in a basket and that was a disaster. So I ran into this and it was only a couple quid. So I thought I will do that for now. But what I would really like to do is... the. Um, the, what are they called? The people who do that organized home show on Netflix, the home edit. They have a range of like clear drawers. Oh, sorry, clear drawers that I think would fit in here and pull out. Um, but it was just way more money than I really wanted to spend on it. And um, so I didn't, <laughs> but I might if I ever get like an offer code or something. Um, okay. Where do you, oh, Laura says, where do you do layout photography? On the desk. Um, with the same lighting that I film with. Yeah, so it would just be like this, and I put it in the overhead. Um, I, I do hand hold it for photo, for layout photography, rather than put it in the tripod, though. Um, yeah. Sorry, okay. I think I've probably made you seasick enough, um, and I will at some point film one um, with those spots where I said ah, that I need to work on them. I'll do those before I film it. But there we go. Um, this is definitely the most presentable it's been. So I thought I would keep myself um, motivated and share. <laughs> All right. Now, now for the awkward moment that I told you and I asked you if it would bother you. And almost everyone on Instagram said, it, no, it would not bother them. I think like two people said they would be bothered. So if you're those two people, go make a drink right now. Um, but yeah, I stand at my desk. Yes, it's true. Okay, so um, I'm going to swap the camera over. Then I'll have a look through for questions that I can answer while I'm, I'm scrapping today. Okay, uh, right. So I'm going to swap to this camera. And this is probably going to be very, <laughs> I want to know what my hair is done today after the rain. All right. But I can now take this out of the gimbal and turn gimbal off <laughs> and not have it like fall everywhere. It's fancy. Huh? Oh, whoa. That's weird. <laughs> so this hooks on with a magnet. Okay. So I can get rid of this. This can be like can stand or not stand. folds down. Doop. Okay. Um, 
then this is going to go, oh, I have to take the magnet off. <laughs> I told you it was going to be awkward. So then this cable comes around here and in no way knocks anything over. And then it wraps around the top of this. Oop. Beautiful. Highly entertaining today. Right. And I probably just got dust in my coffee. So where I showed you the stair the staircases, and um, when we were doing our kitchen and all the DIY and everything, the workbench was right below um that spot. So it's it's right there underneath this tripod. And now that we've finished, I need to move all the tripods out of the way and get rid of all the dust. So if you can tell when I showed you this tripod that it looks like it's very dusty, that, that's why. Um, and part of the reason I needed to um, tidy all this up is so that I could get in there and get that dust out. So that's the next step. Okay, so then this needs power so that we don't lose everything while we're alive. And then let's see if this is square. Presto! Are we in the right place? Yes, we are. Okay. So there we go, there we go. And I just realized that I um, didn't do um, a speech before that. So I, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't try to sell you anything. So I'll do that now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means anytime a scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising, and legally I have to make sure you're aware of that. So thank you for watching my hashtag advertising. I appreciate you being here, whether you're live, whether you're chatty, whether you're the lady from school who let me know that she doesn't chat, but she's here. I see you. I'm not going to say your name because I don't want to embarrass you. Anyway, but if you're out there lurking away, it's cool. Um, and yeah, um, things that are important, they're linked in the description box below. And I've changed up a little bit. One, there's a new class that you can go sign up for. It's the coming soon class, so it's not there right this second. But if you sign up now, it's just five bucks. So that then as soon as it rolls out, you've got first access and the lowest price. And um, if you've got an annual, it's not annual, if you have a class pass that covers everything, it's still included. You still have more classes to come on that, so do not worry. That will roll out to you automatically. But it's over at Chamel.com if you want to go sign up for that one. And that's stickers. Use your stickers. Um, then there's links to the March kit, the kit I'll use next month, which is April's kit. And on almost every video recently, I've been getting questions about how do I print my photos at home. So I went ahead and linked my printer. It's just a Canon selfie printer. But this question was coming up all the time. I thought, you know what? Just put it in the description box. <laughs> then people can find it rather than going, what does she use? It's there. So I've linked that and I've linked my camera and the lens. And I haven't linked my camera. I've just linked the lens because um, that question comes up a lot too. And there we go. I think that's everything. Okay, let's get back to the desk. All right. Um, do, do, do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarah. Sarah says it feels right now that it's both beautifully organized and totally real. Well, thank you. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but I felt like it was like, it, it was okay. <laughs> right, the tripod that holds the face camera, not the big one with the boom arm, that one doesn't ever move, but the one that, um, that holds the face cam has until literally last week been the one that I carry around with me, yes. But I got an epic deal on a Manfrotto, um, 
be live this last week at a charity shop. Um, and so I've got a new super lightweight one to attach to my backpack and I'm going to take that out this weekend and then see which one I prefer and then one can live here and one can go out with me because sometimes I really find I lose my motivation to go take pictures because I got to move the tripod and um, and to get like 300 pounds worth of um, tripod gear for 15 quid at a charity shop I was like yes please I will have that so it's great um, Sarah says is the lighting for desk cam super bright oh yes it has gone super bright hold on Thank you. And that happens if I touch something on the screen. So <laughs> I put you back to me so that I can try. Come on. It's not the normal, oh here. It's not the normal, oh, hold on. All right, hopefully this won't break anything. I'm gonna have to. Restart the camera app that I use. So I can't use just the normal camera app because to link into this, if you use just your normal one, then you would see everything on the screen that you would see when you're looking at a phone. Does that make sense? We should have better exposure now. Yeah. Yeah, everybody always imagines that my space is bigger and I have more stuff than I have. You know, remember, I live in a city. <laughs> my house is tiny and that is fine. Okay, right. Um, so these are the two that I've made so far with this kit. And... Desk needs to clean. Then we've got photos of other bounds already printed up. Okay. I change gears. I can see why people don't cra craft and um, and studio tour in the same video because I gotta change change thought processes. Okay. I'm not gonna do entirely choose your own adventure, but you are gonna choose the photos. So I haven't printed any more, so we've got the same choices from Monday, minus the ones that I scrapped already. Alice, World Book Day, those are both single photos. Pete's Dragon, three pictures, two, one with us together and two of just him. And Carlos and Corella, there's four three by fours. Single, single, three, four. This is Four by five, this is four by five, that's four by six, three by four. Okay, so let me know what you would like. Uh, Nancy likes how everything is within reach of my desk. Yeah, that was, yeah, and that took a lot of working out what could go where and how we could make that happen. Yeah, um, and, um, Sarah says some of the green outfit ones need to be saved for St. Patrick's Day. But of course we will also have green um, Disney bounds on St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, I think we will do a green page then. Um, oh goodness, <laughs> look at that. We get four votes and they're all four different things. <laughs> Maybe I need to start doing them, uh, taking topics out of a hat. <gasps> you know what I could do? I could shuffle them. I'm just, I never thought about doing this until right this second when you all came up with the same things. I was like, oh, I don't know. Anybody who is now upset about the fact that they're not organized like they were, I'm sorry. Okay, what's it gonna be, what's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? <gasps> it's dragon. Okay, I'll put them back in their sets now. Okay, so we got those three today, and then we have these for another time. Cool, let's go. Ooh, three times of the bend and snap. Well, six, because they come in pairs. Uh, 
Um, Lilo Teeny says, can I still buy a class pass? You can. Um, if you have taken any classes in the past year, you're better off not doing that though, because you would not get the value. Yeah. So, um, but if you haven't taken any of them, let me see which class does it start with and I'll tell you what to search so you can um, find it. I think it's this one and I can give you a link. Yeah, okay, so if you haven't taken anything from half and half till now, then you would be better off if you want that whole set. So class pass starts with Ah, Kirsty points out, Pete's Dragon had three photos in there, so um, three times as much chance as Alice of coming out. You're quite right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Christina loved the suspense of the shuffle. All right, so we're going to have these three, and I had a sketch pad again. I found them. <laughs> okay. We will have to keep that shuffle idea in mind. Great. All right. Now, what have we got before I start drawing? Oh, I keep putting these two with this kit and they are confusing me. I'm going to put them in the cupboard now so that I can stop being confused. They are not from this kit. What, what shelf do they go on? Oh, and someone asked, how do I organize paper collections? By manufacturer. If it's a manufacturer where there are a lot of brands within that company, like American Crafts, then I divide down. So um, I have, I actually have more than one, pa more than one shelf of Paige Evans and um, Vicky um, and probably Amy and Lizzie as well. Um, so yeah, they all have separate shelves. And um, with my own papers, each collection has a shelf. Yeah. Okay. So we have the six by sixes under here. And we have this. <laughs> Sophia says I might need to add a third camera to capture my feet while I scrapbook. Sophia, you're adorable and hilarious, but also I've seen what happens if you happen to post a picture where you're barefoot on Instagram and the internet's weird I'm not putting a foot cam on my feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Have we had the story about when I posted a photo of my tights and then I got shocked by what happens on the internet? <laughs> we got, okay, what do we have here? So one time, like I have some tights that have Mickey Mouse on them. They're like sheer black tights with little Mickeys all over them and I love them. Um, when, and, but they're not high quality. Sadly, they're a Primark product. They're like two pounds, which is great in price, but not in quality. So sometimes you only wear them once before they just fall apart and there's no way you could ever wash them in a machine. They've got to be um, hand washed. And so sometimes I can get three or four outfits out of them, but often it's a one and done and that makes me sad. Um, so I, po I posted a picture once um, that was just like my shoes and my legs in the bottom of my skirt and my handbag and I'm in Toontown of all places so I'm like thinking super innocent things and I've got Mickey all over my tights like the photographer took it because she was like oh this is such a cute angle like handbag with Mickey on it and tights with Mickey on it skirt with Mickey on it and, and shoes with Mickey on it and you're in front of Mickey's house how perfect is that right so that was our thought process 
and then suddenly, you know in your stats, if, uh, if you have stats on your account, you can see likes and comments, but you can also see how many times something has been saved. And in some countries, you can see how many times it's been shared. Um, and I can't see shares in this country, usually because it's against the rules over here, but if I'm in the States and I look up something, I can. Um, and so I was in the States when, um, when I posted this or shortly thereafter or something, and I happened to look it up and I was like, <gasps> what's happened? And normally, like a post of mine might get shared like twice. This had been shared hundreds of times. And then a friend was like, you know why? It's because people send it being like, just look, it's a different kind of photo. And I was like, no, no, this is so wrong. So yeah, no foot cam. <laughs> I was so, I don't know why I was surprised and naive, but I was. So can we have a look at what we could go with here? So I like this one. Sarah says, you can't see shares on UK stats. That's strange. I think it may change, but I don't know when. Because when you click on it over here, it says they're not. it's an EU rule that you're not allowed to see them over here. Um, but obviously, we wouldn't be under EU rules now, post-Brexit. So I don't know if that means it'll change or what. But yeah. Um, so I don't, post, I don't post pictures of my cute tights. <laughs> my Mickey trainers. Oh, but the thing is, I really do like the photo. I just didn't ever think of it like that. And so, meh. Okay. I like this whole green and pink combination happening here. So we can do that. I think a whole bunch of this, but I'm not doing a wreath of squares again because I just did that. Maybe we bring in the rainbow. When do we not bring in the rainbow? So... I mean, it is one way I could increase the views on my channel, I guess. But I wasn't going for that, if it's okay by you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't get why it's a rule either, Sarah, the not seeing shares. Because you can't see who shares it. You can't see who saves it. The only thing you can see who for is likes and comments, because that has your name attached. But yeah, if you save it, I don't see that you've saved it. I just see like 50 people have saved this post. So like when I do the 10 scrapbook pages with two photos, or 10 scrapbook pages using red that I've done over the last couple days, those get saved because I know that, you, that people go back to them for reference and I can see where it's like something like this will get like one or two saves maybe, which might be somebody going, oh, I want to take a picture on that street when I go to London. Or it might be somebody who also dresses up with their kid and likes the outfit idea, but it would just be like one or two. Um, and then the 10 scrapbook page posts, they get saved like between 50 and 100 times, depending on how much all of you like the, the layouts. <laughs> um, so I don't see that as a, as a person. I just see that as a number, yeah? And shares are the same way. So if somebody has sent it to a friend to look at or they've put it in their story, it's just a little paper airplane and a number, but here is the paper airplane and a dash with the little footnote that says, this is not allowed. <laughs> okay, so what I was wondering was, could I put the two rainbows together? Because these are two different collections that share a similar design idea. Yes, I do like them together. So we can do that. Um, <laughs> you're right. They would not be the sort of people who would buy the kit or my glasses. You are right. Hashtag advertising. Go get that sticker class for five bucks. <laughs> okay. So if I'm going to work with this and that, I'm going to need a background paper and then I can think properly. Oh, the sun is coming out. Oh, it was just for like two seconds. Okay. So, um, I didn't have a background paper pack with this, did I? But I do have some saved from previous months. I'm wondering about one of those um, 
49 market ones. So let's see what we got. You know, the time where I told you, you don't need both background packs, and then I bought both background packs. So do you think, oh, these, see, these are the ones that are in that thing where I, I feel like I need to go back and do more. Mm because those are both papers that I love, but I don't want to mix them in. I just want the background packs here. Okay, so we've got rainbow option there. Oh, oh there is not a green. Rainbow then. Let's go with that. All right. I was thinking I had this one, but I guess not. Did I use it for something? Yeah, it's not in here. Okay. Nice one, Chanel. Dropped one in the folders. It's okay. There we go. Oh, thanks. Yes, Sophia is already there reminding you. If you um, enjoy the tour, if you enjoy this, if you're sticking around, or if you're going to bed but you liked what you saw so far, you could click the thumbs up button. That'd be super. Okay, so what I was trying to do was see how much space these take up. So I think it needs to come around like that. I wanted to use that, but I don't know if it's gonna fit. I like these two together, like make it on purpose that they're like that. So I'm going to make it fit. Okay. I got a plan now. I hate to alarm you, but I might put some angles in here, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. So the center photo is going to get popped up. There's going to be a four by six card down here. So these three are photos. There's going to, of course, probably be some layers in here too. Okay. So this is shorthand for it's an embellishment, and in this case, that means um, these pieces here. <laughs> and then we'll put another embellishment up here. I mean, shockingly, there's a diagonal here from the top left, the bottom right. What? Um, right, and then I think the title's going to run in here. And then I always do a subtitle with these, or almost always, and I'm going to do that down here. So there we go. That's what I'm going to make. While I scrap here, I'm going to go back to the top to have a look because there were questions while I was doing the little tour that I couldn't see. So I want to have a look and see if there's anything I can answer. Um, <laughs> Laura says she has a lot of contained chaos in her craft room, as in it's all contained in the craft room. I think that's fine. My space is open plan, so it doesn't work very well. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right, what else we got? Um, yeah, I don't know why they stopped making the, I think they were called Fiala? I have no idea. Um, boxes from Ikea that I use for everything. Um, and they're brilliant. So now the ones I have are like gold dust to me. Um, I did have to take out a center 
divider in one of them to make it um, fit things that I had a little bit better. And I was so nervous cutting this cardboard. Never seen somebody so nervous that she might break a cardboard organizer because I had the perfect number and I can't get any more. So I was like, mm. and in fact, I have one that's a different color because the first time I ever bought one, they didn't have white at our shop. They just had this blue check. Um, and so I bought that. And then later got, when I went to get lots of them, I got them in white. And so now I like the white better, but I couldn't replace the blue check because they were gone by the time I decided, oh, okay, it's time to replace that one. Nope. So blue check it is. So little letter stickers live in blue check. All right, I might have to close the blinds because the sun is really trying. It's very best to get through the clouds and it's going to make it all shadowy on my desk. Okay. Um, Sophia stores her stencils in a 12 by 12 scrapbook album, which is a brilliant idea. And I've done that with page protectors in the past as well. Um, but also recommends file folders. Yeah. Um, do, do, do. Oh, Sarah says, what's to the right of my scrap space? So I'm upstairs. There are the two bedrooms. It's just a two bedroom house. Um, so the two bedrooms are directly to my right as I'm scrapbooking with a little gap in between those two doors for a radiator. And um, then directly behind me is the bathroom and that is the entirety of the upstairs. There we go. Um, any other questions on there? Um, yep, my paper is stored by manufacturer. Um, okay, I think, I think I found all the, the answers if, um, or the questions, if I missed a question or if you've come up with one that you didn't have before, go ahead and let me know and I will try to catch it. Okay, let's find some six by sixes for the layering here. Pink. Let's use that pink one. Ah, Autumn says she's going through the strat a strash <laughs> stash stretching class, and I said in that that I cut out. I cut up my cut apart sheets immediately, but she knows I doesn't, I, I can't, oh my goodness, words are hard. She knows I don't do that now. Sorry, I don't know why that was so difficult. What changed? What changed is live streaming and kits. Yep, and if I was not doing it this way, I would go ahead and cut them up. Um, but now I pretty much only buy the kit every month. Um, whereas when uh, my sparkly friend was doing things, I tended to, um, because I wasn't working from a kit, I would have a monthly box of stuff that was quite a fair amount of stuff. And then I'd have to put it all together in different ways. Um, so cutting up those cut aparts made me use what I bought. That was totally it. Um, but now when I do something like this, I might realize, oh, it would be cool to have three of them together. Or more likely, I want to be able to maintain the sizes of the back so that I could use it for a mat or something. And when I wasn't working within a kit, if I wanted what was here on the back and it was already chopped up, I didn't worry about that because I'd just go to my stash and get something else. Yeah, but here I'm not, I don't dive into the stash a lot. I usually stick to the kit as much as I can because I want to make it as practical as can be for people to follow along. Yep, 
That's a good question. I do change things over time. I mean, you'll also, those of you who've been around for a long time know that I used to print pretty much every photo I took as a four by six print. And when I was doing four by six photo love that, it made so much sense for me to do a class about that because I would just monthly order. I didn't print at home. I ordered a big batch of prints every month, hundreds. But I used a dresser that had these drawers that just were the perfect size to hold thousands of prints. So, and they, they weren't a particularly good size for anything else. <laughs> just like either four by six photos or four by six cards. And I did, definitely did not need that many Project Life cards because I was not very good at keeping up with Project Life. So um, there we go. Um, um, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna go, oh, I could. Okay, I need to blooper. Um, I could, I was gonna go brown ink for my edges. I don't know that I will love this because I like doing my edges in distress, not in oxide. But I have had a request to try edges in lost shadow. So I will try. And then I might decide I don't like it and go back to brown. <laughs> right. It's going to take a bit to load it up. It's so pale. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with it's too pale for edges. I can't see it on here at all. What about this pale one? Does it show up here? I think it's only going to show up on white because this is pretty pale and I'm really having to squint to see it. I don't think you'll be able to see. Can you see an edge on that at all? There we go. Okay, but I tried. <laughs> okay, brown. Still haven't marked them. Larson says, does that mean you don't use your stash so much and you mostly use it for your classes? Um, let me just ink this and I will show you. So yeah, I use my stash in classes, which is why I don't add a huge amount to it because I've got quite enough. Um, and I don't want to, I, 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 I mean what I say, I don't want to just have a collection of stuff that I don't use. So I have enough for classes and then this other thing. So let me show you and um, so in doing I'm turning something from the pages that we make here into um into my chronological album then I'll use things mixed in. So this was from, this one and this one were both from the January kit. These stickers were from the January kit. These stickers were from the January kit. But this four by six card was not, that was from my stash. I've cut that out to match. I first cut it in white and then realized, nope, I don't like that because I've got all the cream here. So then I cut it in cream. I decided it was too fiddly to back for me, <laughs> so I didn't. Um, so this is from the kit, this is from the kit, this is from the kit. Um, actually, the pink paper here is, but that card is from my stash that we made in Alive. This was from Alive. This was not an, oh, that already needs some extra glue. Okay, um, so upside down memories made, but yeah. So this is quite old stash mixed with stuff that's, not so old, but is stash mixed with stuff that's from the kit. So for example, this was from the kit. These are written on a little scrap of one of the background papers from the kit. This is a bit of dotted Swiss basil basics from 
years and years ago, but I really do. It's like polka dot embossed cardstock. What's not to love about that? So I would always pick dotted Swiss over plain anytime. Um, and then this paper is Cosmo Cricut. This paper is an old, maybe simple stories, but it's old. Um, these are from Vicky B's most recent collection. There's a Brussels spout there from the kit. So I'm mixing it all together. Can you spot what, what this is? How old this is and this is and this is? That's Love Elsie papers from way back. This is from one of the original um, Simple Stories collections that had these like vintage newsprint pieces in with modern color schemes. Um, these are from an Etsy shop called Letters to July, who does sticker sheets for all the different shows in the West End. Um, but then mixed with, all of this is from the kit. Yeah, this is from the kit. So making it all come together. We made this in Alive with the kit. Made this in Alive with the kit. Kit, not kit, not kit, kit. Not kit, yeah? So these things are stash, but this is from the kit. And look, I used some clear stickers and things like that. <laughs> um, Brussels sprouts and pink dots were both from the kit, but these, uh, and these are things like, I had this um, in my stash for ages because they were boxes that had a little tab on the side with the day of the week. And I just don't tend to use those sorts of things. And I looked at them and I'm like, but the colors are just right. So just chop off the bit that says the day of the week. It's fine. I don't know why it took me 10 years to realize that. Elsie again. I loved how this came out. These were both from the Heidi sticker book, P uh, clear letter stickers over the, the cardstock sticker. Um, these two pieces from the kit with two pieces from a 15 year old Elsie paper. Yeah, so there we go. Um, and that video will be a premiere on this channel over the weekend. So with me chatting about that in a kind of different way. Okie dokie. Um, right. And this one needs ink. And then I'm gonna get February's in. I have February's pages sitting there but I didn't want to put them in before I put the, oh, this, oh, I, when you say some things out loud, sometimes you realize how strangely your brain works. So I've done February's pages and they're sitting there with the album, but I didn't want to put them in the album until that video was live so that it was like I could take it off mentally and be like, okay, so that job is all done. The February stuff is now allowed to move into the album. And in saying it out loud, I suddenly realized that's a bit, unnecessary. There's nothing to stop me putting February in the page protectors right now. But for whatever reason, that made sense. Um, okay. Oh, I'm going to pull my hair back. I realize this tidying up when I don't pull it back, it just ends up all over my project. It sticks to this sticky stuff. <laughs> okay. Like I might not be tall enough, like high enough up on the page. Mmm, angles, not angles. I think I'm gonna go back to no angles. I'm going to pop this one up, but I might, do I want to, yeah, I'm going to attach this and then pop the whole thing. I was trying to decide if I wanted the mat flat and just the photo popped, but I don't. I'm going to pop up the whole thing. Pop, pop, pop it up with Papio. Papio strips. But don't take them off yet. So that's going to go there. Mm. Top tip. This photo. I didn't I don't use external lighting when 
we're taking pictures like this in the middle of the street. I don't have, I don't like carry a ring light or anything about like that. So can you see what would have actually happened in the original picture straight out of camera? He's got a hat on, so he would have no light on his face. So in Lightroom, just um, went in and selected his face and pulled the shadow slider all the way up and found that facial expression underneath and was absolutely in love. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's worth, it, it took less than a minute to discover that there was something really, really nice there. Okay. So the two green photos need something. Okay, I don't think that one's gonna be it. What would I use what would I not use here? Oh, or, or, or. This one's a bit damaged, so I can't use it as a full 12 by 12 anyway. It's from a previous kit, a previous month's background kit, background pack. So this is a Bella Boulevard, Bella Besties, but, um, it accidentally ended up on top of a bunch of boopers. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> but I like those greens together. Let's use it rather than have to discard it entirely. Larson says, would you consider doing a class on 6x12 with, with, well, if, if it's something that you'd be interested in, um, yeah. I can't find you an easy place to get six by 12 page protectors though. D it, has anybody found where they exist? I haven't sat down and done the research since the last time I got a bunch of questions about it. So I need to do that before I set this video live on its premiere, because I know that'll come up. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, But yeah, if it's something that that people, so I could do it. I mean, it could even fit that under the use what you buy kind of thing with Project Life cards, and then just say specifically, we're gonna focus like here's four videos on how to use them on six by twelve pages with old stash. <laughs> um, I don't see any problem with that. Oh, Larson says. Little Magpie still carry. Oh, see, we have this this problem. Larson says, "Little Ma hey, Little Magpie usually have six by twelve ones." And Joanne at the same time says, "I don't think they make them anymore." Okay, so I need to do some research. I might need to pull up the giant American Crafts catalog and see if under any of those brands do they have them. I don't think that scrapbook.com have them in their own make of page protectors. I don't think so. If I make this the same distance from that side, so make these two margins the same, do I end up with the right space here? Yeah, not so bad. Okay, we can do that. And then this one. Yes, you could make your own with a fuse. I did have a fuse at one point in time, but I did not. Oh, we need to take everything out. You know what would help? 
I'm going to cut a little bit off the top so this isn't actually four by six. Ooh, haven't used the big trimmer in a long time. It says self sharpening and it needs, <laughs> needs sharpening. It's probably got dust in the truck. Okay, but that's going to help. same sort of distance here and here. And then that one there. Okay. This one in the middle. Oh, good night, China girl. I can't believe you stayed this long. Well done. So we've got that, that basic shape. Now, remembering that we are stash diving for letter stickers this time around. And those um, layered stickers, I think, are Finally, on layout three, going to make an appearance. Oh, oh, this is not good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. There. This one says, make room for sunshine, which one I think goes with I've got sunshine here I've got a rainbow kind of thing going on but also I like the idea of make room um fitting with the Pete's Dragon theme because of the song about um there's room for everyone in this world yeah um like that and go up here which one to go up there this one oh or I could go I could stick with sunshine Sunshine or be kind? You can choose. Um, and you can choose while I pick out some letter stickers. Okay, so we've got, right, could even possibly make a multicolored alphabet work. Wild, not one with donuts. I have a multicolored donut alphabet. Everybody needs one of those, right? So these are actually the letter stickers that go with the six by six paper pad. They're from the same collection. Pink fresh, the best day. Ah. That's an official design noise right there. Oh, come on. Okay, so 
there an ampersand? <gasps> There's no ampersand. What is that about? Okay, I need an ampersand. You're gonna find one somewhere else. I'm just checking in case there's one in the kit. You know who does make very cute ampersands. Well, who did make very cute ampersands. Sassafras. Do, 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 do. Right. No, I'm gonna pick out all the wrong colors first. Apparently I really like that red. I really like that red. Purple. I don't have purple on there yet. I know, I know I could mark them on the other side, but, oh, hold on. <laughs> There's not an ampersand in this set. I made that up in my head. Moving swiftly on. Also, I know I could, um, I could mark them on the outside so that I don't have to open them up each time to figure out where anything is. But the thing is, I actually really enjoy <laughs> flipping through them. <laughs> so every time I've thought about doing it, maybe, I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's have some, what do we got here? We're going to find a pretty ampersand. Is this that one? Yes! Found one. Right there. Pink map. Works for me. Pete and Okay. Uh oh, have I lost the chat? Are you are you just quiet? That's fine too. Okay, and we had more votes for for this one. Oh, and that fits with the shape. There, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's supposed to be that way then, yes. And go this way. Oh, you know what's funny? I've just totally done this page without any of my head in the clouds dragons. What? <laughs> totally took this um, these photos thinking I will scrap that with head in the clouds dragons. You remembered right now. No, I'm not going to like this spacing. Okay. Yeah, nobody's, you're not too late, don't worry. Um, let's see, what if I go from here and go backwards? Up, down, up, down, up. Down. There we go. That's better. But I'm going to need um I'm going to need something here. Oh, I think I have a real feeling that these letter stickers are gonna need more glue later. Okay, I'll report back on that. Please get the dragon. Okay, let me get some dragons. Oh, do, 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 do. Cause it made me giggle because when I posted these, somebody said, you need to use Tim's dragon dye, which was a cool idea. 
and she offered to send me one if I don't have it, which I don't have it, so that that's very kind. But I was like, but also, I have my own dragons, so I might use my own dragons. <laughs> Um, what do we got? Mm. Where would they be hiding? Oh, back here. Yep, this one. Oh! <laughs> I pulled this one out. Spot the mistake there. It's okay, I got more, I got more. So, that one with dragons present. But I've also, there are dragons in the little sticker book for that collection that's shaped. It's like, oh, I've got die cuts here. The sticker book is shaped like a little cloud. I've got die cuts here too. There's a dragon in here, isn't there? Yep, yeah. pink one. Yes, I bought my own stash at Tuesday morning. Oh, or we could stamp a dragon. Could we? Hold on, speaking of buying my own stash at Tuesday morning. Isn't there a dragon in here? Did I make that up? Just unicorns and mermaids. I thought there was a dragon. There's not a dragon on the stamps. No, okay. for the pink one. Dragon with a camera. Perfect. Okay. Look, straight away I'm putting stuff on top of the trimmer. Halo first. Because <laughs> it's a bit brighter than everything else I've used here. So let's see if, although I don't like it for edges necessarily in an oxide, it could just take the brightness down a little bit. I like that. Okay. That's good to know. But then do the edges. So basically that first step I was more heavy handed to try and get the whole halo. Where are you going dragon? Where are you going? <laughs> it's so cheesy. Let's do it anyway. You can leave it off obviously, but I have dragon photos. <laughs> I feel like Sparkle Flash should be here. Um, doo, doo, doo. You do not need to apologize for that, Sophia. You can have as much of a life outside of the live chat as you would like. You're still a booper. Okay. I have stamps here. Can I put a little thing from that die cut pack over here to balance it? What could I do? I need that pink a banner. Oh, a rainbow or a label. Uh, 
that's the rainbow. A label. Okay. It's because that pink is different than the pink I've got in this kit. It's a bluer, cooler pink. The ones in the kit are warmer. So could I make the rainbow work or is it too big? It's too big. Shame. Okay then. go on the diagonal it's too close okay Now, <laughs> Virginia has lots of Chamel collections that she got at Joanne's and she's not going to run out because she uses all, uses all her scraps up before she cuts into anything new. Bless your heart. Okay. Need something here. Oh, and I need title up here too. In fact, I might use that as the title that there's room for everyone. Yeah, and journal on here, a little bit of journaling on here too. And these two florals, this one has the individual pieces. Okay, the other one doesn't really have bits and pieces that I could uh, into this mix, but this one does. Okay, so how much of that would I need to chop off? So this is gonna go Oh, no. <laughs> it's almost going to go there. I remember how fiddly these are. It's very thin paper. It's never a good thing for somebody who likes to take everything up and down and up and down. This one up to here. No, definitely needs to have that greenery show so that you can tell that it matches. There's this tiny little edge I need to catch on the dragon so that it works. There. Like that. And then another little piece of that for this corner somewhere. I've got all these little individual cherry blossoms, which are very sweet. Um, do I have any more of this kind of flower on a camera? That's not what I'm looking for. In which case, just individual yellow, individual pink.
And this can be where I put my little hashtags. So all my um, Disney Bound March pages have the challenge hashtag on them somewhere. So it's just hashtag Disney Bound challenge. And this was day two to Disney Dragons. These are going to need glue. Okay, if you have these, they're not sticking. They need glue. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Hello, AJ. Yeah, so layout running late because we started with a walk around the studio. Um, yep, yep, yep. You can find all that at the beginning of this live when you want to scroll back and find it on the replay. Okay, title across here needs some letters. things that are little if I want to do quite a big title. But not so little that you can't tell it's a title. Oh, the trick to finding a good balance. Okay. Oh, I found where I put the cloud shape sticker book. more dragons in there. Oh, sticker folders. They make me so happy still. I really love they really do. They <laughs> make me so happy. Oh, I wish all my collect oh, just all collections, whether I designed them or not, I wish they had little folders like this. Okay. That was what I was thinking of. I kind of want to put one of these pieces that says sparkle in because WB's dragon is called Sparkle Flash, even though, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. <laughs> Two of these folders, but I think this one's incomplete. Yes. Okay. No. That's all I got. That's all I got. Sparkle City one. It has a navy alpha, doesn't it? This looks like I used this at a trade show. That's why it's way more pages than would normally be in one folder. Yeah, there's no alpha in there. Okay. Right, I'm gonna use the hot pink and something else. Like it though. Okay. What do we got? I said coming back out again. Hmm? 
gonna start here. What? The center's not cut. Um, right. Do, do, do. Kirsty says, how do you scrap the bad times? The start of 2023 has been dominated by my daughter's ill health and I, I've had no passion to take pictures or scrap. My album will have a huge gap or sad stuff. That is okay. Okay, I'm gonna say it many, many times. It is okay to leave a gap with stories you don't wanna tell right now. It is okay to make pages that tell stories that are not sad and this is a happy day and all of that sort of stuff. It is okay to make pages about things that are happier memories if you want. I know, Kirsty, that you scrapbook chronologically and this is gonna mess with your head a little bit because I believe you work on both sides of the page if I remember correctly. Um, I'm gonna tell you it's okay to have a section that's not like that, okay? You need to be able to step back and say, what's more important, that I keep all of my pages in order or that I create things that will help me process my thoughts? Now, I've had albums that are totally processing thoughts and there's a reason why I joke about not buying neutrals in my ink collection. And it's because I had these two albums, so it was quite a big expanse of time, and everything is earth tones. The whole darn thing. There's not a speck of pink in that book. There's no turquoise. Like, who even am I? And then one day I just started in with rainbows again. And I didn't see it at the time. And when I looked back, I'm like, oh! Well, I was a bit of a mess right then, wasn't I? I was going through hard stuff. I was processing feelings. I was putting that on paper and it all came out brown. So it's okay. You can have a section in your album that's brown, metaphorically or realistically, whichever way you want to be. Um, it's okay. If writing it all down will help you, then go for it. If using your scrapbook as escapism and scrapbooking happier days and happier memories will help you go for that. If a little bit of both works out well for you, do that. If stepping away from making stuff until you feel more with it is, is better, that's okay too. You don't owe anyone a scrapbook. No one. You don't. It's there for you to enjoy, for you, for your benefit. If anybody else benefits from it too, that's a bonus, not a starting point, not an expectation, okay? Be kind to yourself, take breaks. Gemma, who had, has a one-year-old now, just made her first page in a whole year because she did not scrapbook with a tiny baby running around. And guess what? She didn't forget how. She made another page. It was beautiful. She came and watched live streams here and there throughout. It's all good. She didn't leave it behind. She did pick it back up. It can be done. You'll be all right in that regard. It'll be okay. Okay? Be kind to yourself. Give yourself lots of permission. Okay. Right. Um, I hope that helps. Sometimes you need somebody to tell you. It's okay. And I can tell you twice a week if you need me to. <laughs> but yeah, not every day is the best day ever. There are plenty that are not. And even the scene where that line comes from, when all of the products started saying, this is the best day ever, it's a line from Tangled. She gets out of the tower and she screams, this is the best day ever, cut. And she's weeping on the floor saying, this is the worst day ever. Yeah. Because her emotions are all over the shop. Yes, she's out of her tower. But also, she's never been outside her tower, so she's overwhelmed. And she's breaking the rules, man. And um, yeah. And so, be kind. Be kind. And remember that for every best day ever, 
there is a moment where even Rapunzel is saying, this is the worst day ever. Okay, keep soldiering on. You're all right. You got this. It's, it's gonna be, like, I always feel like the expression, it's gonna be okay, does this horrible dismissing because it's not okay right now. It's all right to acknowledge that. But when you hear, whenever somebody tells you, oh, how weird, there's none of that bright green in the R's. Um, when somebody tells you it's going to be okay, reframe in your mind to remember they're talking longer scheme of the world. You're going to get through things for better or for worse and come out the other side one, in one shape or another. And so life, life goes on in some form. But yeah, sometimes you have to take those things that people say that get under your skin and reframe because it's not, they don't mean to be cruel. They don't mean to upset. Yeah, so if, there you go. Sorry. I'm on a tangent now because I, 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 I'm a member of the Overthinkers Club. How about you? <laughs> All right. There's room for everyone in this world. I don't know how I'm gonna fit that in. I think yeah, I do with little letter stickers. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Right. There you go. You got people in the comments who have been through things where they didn't want to scrap it. Scrapbook it later with the perspective of looking back and knowing that, knowing the ending. Once you've got spoilers, you can tell the story. It's a totally valid storytelling strategy. See how it ends first, then write it down. Yeah. where Liz went through a really hard time and none of the current stuff was making her feel creative. So she pulled out her honeymoon album and worked on that to, to escape that and work on something that made her smile and happy. So yeah, I like all of this. Right, I still don't have any R's in this. They haven't grown on here overnight. So, um, hmm. Do I have, oh my goodness. I almost started to take that do I have into do you hear the people sing and I'm just gonna save you from that disaster that was about to happen. <laughs> but a small person has been singing it in this room all week and now it's ingrained in my head. Mm-hmm. Pink tile letter stickers. Do I have any such thing? Other than that set that are right there that are missing an R. <laughs> yeah. Got these. Oh, have we got ours? Yes. Okay. Let's do this backward. <laughs> Jen is hearing the distant drum. Oh my. The drum in this room has not been distant enough this week. <laughs> no, it's a joy. But sometimes a very loud joy. Joy is not quiet.
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go right across here. If your photos don't have the same background here, then you might want to just have a title that fits here and not bring it down over here. I'm gonna make the decision to go across here because I've got that same background right there. I'm not losing any meaning here, okay? But it's not necessary in life to use such long titles. <laughs> Just wanted to. Do I put in here in green or just keep it in pink? I think the phrasing of it just makes me think that the break should be there. Mm. No, doesn't fit that way. That'll look fine in the page protector. Really up close, I can tell that the eye is popped and nothing else is, but it's okay. Right, there's. But it can't be these, because then I can't do the apostrophe. <laughs> it's all right, I got one more that I saw in here that'll be right. And it'll let me have an apostrophe, because tile letters don't work with contractions. This one will. Oh, I remember when all of my pages used to use so many letter stickers. I do actually still really love a good old letter sticker title like this. I really do, but I don't do it on the live streams because A, it takes forever. B, we wouldn't normally have this many different lettering styles in one kit. May this month be the reminder that if you've got a stash of letter stickers, oh, this one's just jumping right out at me, um, that wants, wants a home on a page, you should give them a home. <laughs> um, apostrophe. Nope. I know. Use tweezers. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna mess it out like this instead. There we go. Right. Enamel dots. Look at me putting stuff on the trimmer again. Ding, 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 ding. Her doors open behind me and it makes me feel like there's a ghost. Let's cover them up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in this pale pink. And enamel dots apparently work better if I sing about it when I say it. I don't know. I can't explain these things. Okay. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Ooh. Okay. Journaling's gonna go on here. Date probably up here. Um yeah. And if you want to make sure you catch the album flip through premiere over the weekend, turn your notifications on so that you will get a little reminder in theory, or I'll also um, tell you the scheduled time and link on Instagram stories once it's ready to go. Okay, 
So Julie's gonna go there. That's everything done. If you had more story, you could swap for fewer photos. So you, this could be two photos in a journaling card, don't forget. You can always swap out a photo for a journaling card or vice versa. And um, that could also, with a bit smaller title, that could be a four by six landscape photo, if you wanted. Right, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, there's a huge amount of comments that just came through, so I'm gonna read those once we um, say goodbye. Oh, a retro Chamel Live sometime. Um, moving on. Um, and um, um, yeah, I, I just, not because it's a bad idea, but just because it, I'm not gonna open that, that uh, Pandora's box right here on this live stream by talking out loud while I think about it, but I, uh, certainly can plug it into my brain for later and gather my thoughts. <laughs> but if you enjoyed the walk through the studio, if you enjoyed the video and you want to give it a thumbs up, that would be super duper fabulously awesome. Um, and if you came in uh, later when I was already scrapbooking, once we stop here, if you want to rewind and watch the replay, you can have a look around my crafty space and hopefully not get too motion sick. Okay. Um, have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday for more with this and I'll see you on Instagram all weekend long. Bye-bye.